Hey guys, what's up? I feel like growing season is in full effect and I'm walking around my plant room and pretty sure every single plant has put off new growth, new leaves, it's getting bigger, it needs to be repotted and a lot of the plants that I had chopped back last year are just growing. And I'm looking over here because all of the elbows that I had cut back are just putting off new leaves. One has thrips. So this is going to be like a repot care tip, how to deal with thrift situation. And yeah, it's going to be like, I guess, how I take care of my monstera elbows and what I do when I see um, pests. So let's get into this video. I'm excited to show you the three plants. And, uh, and yeah, let's, let's just do this. <laughs> All right, so the first elbow is this one right over here. Now, I had clipped this back to the point where it just has this dinky little stem. <laughs> but it's put off three, no, four, four new leaves for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and literally pull it out from, from the pot that it's in and see what's up. So, oh. And of course, I have my trusty potting mat down already. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so it's easier than I thought. <laughs> and I suppose that's because its root system isn't very much. All right, so here, here we are. Here are the roots. And now I understand why <laughs> it was taking so long to grow because look at the root system here versus the pot that it was actually in. Um, this pot was clearly too big for it, but it is what it is. I'm pretty sure um, the, the roots have probably died back and these are, because these are all new roots. Like these are fresh, fresh roots. So I feel like these are all from, yeah, and they are, they're from like the aerial roots. And I think when these aerial roots started producing roots, that's why there was like development here. So that's nice. And you know what? I really like the, um, the variegation on this. Like it doesn't look like much, but it's like very minimal. And yeah, it's like very minimal, but it just has like a pop. I don't know. I feel like I'm just talking plant at this point um, or just justifying why I'm I'm still in love with this plant. But um, but yeah, so here we are. So this was from the original um, mother plant that I had cut off and the node came from here and it produced this first leaf and then then I got this one and so forth. Okay, and this had an aerial root. I'll just turn it this way, right over here. Ugh. So this is the aerial root that's put off secondary roots for me. And this section right here was what was keeping this plant alive. So I have the option of clipping it right here. You can't see, clipping it right here. And if I were to clip it right here, this would be what's keeping it alive but <laughs> um i'm not going to do that what i'm probably what i am going to do actually is um keep it all together and just replant replant it so it's going to be planted in like a pot like this maybe yeah so that way it's growing continues to grow upwards but i'm going to keep keep this here um and it's also producing an aerial root right over here very cute so it's doing its thing very happy for that uh, yeah so I think my plan is to just <laughs> uproot everything <laughs> and see what I'm working with take it downstairs and give everything like a good rinse and of course I'll take you guys along with me and continue this process the the one with the thrips I'm gonna do last so i'm gonna work on this plant right here well this one's already done i'm just gonna pop it over here and check out this one so this one is very interesting 
because it's put off a new growth here and look at the newest leaf it's given me how cute is this marbling very cute very <sighs> this is the reason why i love my stair elbows but yeah so this is the newest leaf it's given me it's still kind of hardening off but i mean it is what it is i gotta i gotta do work and uh if it stunts its growth it stunts its growth so this one I'm most likely going to chop because I do have a bud that's growing right here and it kind of stalled and it stalled because this is growing. So what I'm going to do now <laughs> is actually pull it from the pot because how do I explain this? So this bud right here has an aerial root attached to it here and it's actually growing into the pot itself. So I want to see if it um, started <laughs> developing secondary roots. Because if it has, then I can make a cut and um, have two plants. So. Uh, this is very terrifying. And you know what? I think it did. Oh. <laughs> it really uh, rooted very well in here. <laughs> This is gonna be a mess. Um, yeah. So I need a bigger potting mat. That's what I need. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to vacuum after this. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go off camera, grab myself a bag because there's just dirt everywhere, and just dump this dirt. So I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this pot is currently in a bag and I'm just gonna try to wiggle everything out without making more mess so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so this is the aerial root that I was talking about that is attached to this node or is keeping this node alive. And it's given me a lot of roots. Do you see that? So what I'm actually going to do is give it a cut and I'm going to cut it right here and the remainder of <laughs> this plant I'm going to clip off as well. So first I'm going to make my cut and see what I'm working with and then reassess this new growth right over here. So here we are. There's the new growth. Here's the original leaf that belonged to the mother plant. And here is this very long, very healthy root system. So just gonna clean it off the best that I can and repot it into something else. I think I'm gonna do is actually take these two outside and give it a good rinse and then pot it all back up. So into there you go. And let's see what I'm working with here. I should have grabbed a bigger potting mat. That's what I should have done. It's fine. All right, so this is, all right. So what's keeping this growth alive is actually this aerial root right here so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it and there it is let's see all right <laughs> so will go outside as well now let's see what's going on with this stem is there any node on this at all the answer is yes <laughs> you guys there's a node on this okay um let's do it let's let's i'm gonna challenge myself and try to preserve this plant right over here so how do you know if you have 
a node is by feel usually you can see it like you can see it but this stem looks pretty much like dead dead like it doesn't look like there's anything on here and i didn't actually think that there was gonna be anything but there is there's actually a node and you can't even see can you see that little hump this hump right here that's a note and I can feel it so yeah um, <laughs> I can't believe there's a note here and I'm kind of confused right now how to did I not just cut this yeah so this plant was originally planted like this which is kind of weird to me because the aerial roots well the root system is growing up and down <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing and the node is like down over down over here so ideally when i go to rinse this i'm hoping that the the aerial roots will kind of like fall downwards and not go up and then down but i mean it is what it is man if if the plant wants to do what the plant wants to do i'm gonna let it do its thing so i'm just gonna clip this as well and um just yeah i i don't yeah okay so i clipped it because um i just want to have <laughs> i don't want to have like a big big stem um but the other thing is also you don't want to clip your stem so much because this is actually what's giving um like the wet stick energy to grow but the root system looks pretty legit so i'm not too concerned about uh any of that so if this were like a wet stick like a mid cut that i was working with um for sure i would be very mindful of how much of the stem that i'm cutting off but this piece is like pretty much dead there's nothing here so that's the reason why i chose to cut it all right and lastly this one over here um it does have thrips so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to show you guys what it looks like and then cut if needed and then move on um so yeah so this is what it looks like and like i said this one terrifies me because the just the plant itself is like 80 percent variegated and you guys all know how i feel about variegation love variegation but does it terrify me yes yes it does so now that i'm looking at it it doesn't have any roots at all it does have a bud that's coming out over here that you cannot see and i'm sorry for that but i see it so what i'm actually going to do is just clip it i'm gonna clip it right now all right so i just clipped it and um i also just peeled back one of its very cute leaf is this one right over here and i have a very good reason why i peel this back um i'm gonna water root this so if you can see right here it has a very dinky little root right very small and usually i would actually put moss on this and just let it root with moss and lica but because this plant currently has thrips and it needs to be treated, I'm actually going to water root this cutting and hope that it survives. <laughs> so I'm going to water root this. And um, when I peeled that leaf back, I can now see that I have, oh, is it focusing? There we go. I can see that I have an aerial root right here. So I have another aerial root and one up here and when you're water rooting something that is very variegated 
<laughs> like this um, there's always a risk that you're going to rot the stem so that's the reason why I decided to peel back this leaf now if I want real success I would actually peel this back as well but um I'm gonna just see if it's gonna survive <laughs> so this is going to be treated in a moment so let's just put that down and see what I'm working with over here so over here I have I don't think you can see it but there is an uh, a node that's emerging right over here you see that dot right there that's a node that's emerging I kind of just want to see okay so it looks like all of my elbows were in um, pots that were way too big for it so my bad <laughs> all right so here we are what am I working with here so this one has several uh, several nodes but because this node up here doesn't have like any good um, aerial roots I'm not gonna clip it and because it's on the white side I'm not even gonna try to like make a make it grow from a wet stick because it's just it will not survive so what I'm actually gonna do is clean this off treat it and um, pot this in another pot so that it can actually like grow and do its thing so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera clean this mess clean my elbows and I'll be back and kind of walk you through what I had did why I did it and and all that good stuff so to be continued <laughs> okay so I'm back and um, that took longer than I had anticipated because I didn't have any soil mixture on hand so I had to go make my own and what's in here is actually pretty much like a one to one to one ratio of everything that I have on hand which is ponds coarse perlite charcoal and tree fern fiber so I had to go outside and rinse everything and then put it in here because you know you don't really want to clog your sink with um, the dust and yeah so while i was working on this these two plants or plant and cutting that had thrips were soaking in um soap so it was soaking in this dr bronner's uh hemp peppermint soap now i had purchased this three years ago i think at winners or marshall's whichever one it was for like 12.99 and during that time everyone was like you gotta get this soap this is like the best soap for your plants and blah 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 and uh, do I think it's the best we'll see <laughs> I really don't have um, pests um, so so yeah so I don't I don't even know what to say other than I'm using it I'll let you know if it's actually doing its thing um, but honestly if it doesn't get rid of the thrips because like when you're using soap like this you have to treat your your plants and your cuttings um, multiple times to make sure that like you're getting uh, like the eggs and like the baby thrips and all that stuff so um, if you choose to go this route you will have to treat your your plants and your cutting so in this case because I'm choosing to root this in water it's easier for me to um, use the soap this guy, however, it was treated with a soap, but I am going to, sorry, to pot it up in here. Um, but uh, what I'm probably gonna do is next week when it needs to be watered again, I'm probably gonna hit it with this systemic houseplant insect control. Um, I hear like this is the, the real stuff, the real deal, to get rid of um, thrips and all that stuff. and. Um, I believe what you're supposed to do is this is how I've been using it is I'll sprinkle it on top of the soil and then just water it through and um, it's supposed to just get rid of the thrips and I think I've only ever had to like treat my entire collection once before um, when I had like a massive breakout but everything's fine now except for this one <laughs> so 
like I said, this one is going to just be rooting in water and you know, I think you can really see that it's very like much 80% variegated. Um, I have this feeling and I hate that I'm even saying this, but I feel like it may just rot <laughs> on me. So what I'm actually going to do is leave this cutting um, like downstairs in the bathroom next to the window so that I can keep an eye on it um, just to you know change the water as frequently as I can so that it doesn't um, rot on me it's like the last thing that I need right now because the variegation on this is very pretty and I really want to be able to to grow this plant but you know it's fine because I still have this one and this one is starting to, to bud right now so let's go ahead and pot this up so I am using um, no drainage and this, I don't know, I, I just prefer no drainage. It just makes my life so much easier. I'm not like running around having to, um, you know, dump the extra water out. So this no drainage has been like, I don't know, it's been my jam um, and I, I, I do prefer it. I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep potting this up. Usually, I would sprinkle some myco on here. But because um, this particular plant is infected with thrips, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it do its thing. And I'm going to pray and hope that it survives and it doesn't start to you know brown on me because the stem itself is very um variegated so i think semi hydro is going to do this plant very well because it's not going to bring like wick up too much moisture and pretty much done here so And all of my elbows have been just surviving a normal room temperature. They haven't been living inside like an exo tank or my IKEA cabinet at all. So, I don't know. They seem to be happy. I'm not going to give it extra ten attention because it's been doing fine <laughs> before. So, this is it. This is how it looks and uh yeah so next up are these guys over here okay so i decided i don't know i might change my mind again that um i was actually thinking of this one no nope, not that one this one <laughs> i don't know like this one i had said that i was going to leave the stem on but like I don't know I keep looking at it and I'm just like why why keep it <laughs> I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna clip it there done because this piece has served its purpose and because this is already putting off secondary roots for me I'm not too concerned about about it anymore it's it'll be fine and if I lose leaves then I lose leaves but you know I'm all about survival of the fittest in this house so that's that's where I'm at I'm actually looking for my my cup that I had put aside for this I'll be back all right so here's a cup I'm just gonna wiggle it into here and that's how it's gonna stay Oh, I forgot something. Hold on. All right, I almost forgot this. I forgot to put some stratum in here. Mm. Oh, that looks good enough for me. Let's just put that on top. Yeah. So, that looks good. 
So I am going to plant this, is it focusing? Here, a little lower so that the top aerial root can kind of like extend itself. And I am hoping that within three weeks, I'm gonna have to repot this because that means that the stratum is working and it's really putting off um, robust roots for me. So fingers crossed. And if it does, obviously I'm going to film another video and just give you guys an update. And if my other ones die, start to rot off, then I will show you my fails too. And I think once this starts to really root for me, then I will um, go ahead and add some myco to it. So I'm probably not going to um, give these plants any more water just because the substrate is pretty wet right now. So I'm going to let it just kind of do its thing. And prior to disrupting its home, I was actually, I had actually um, watered the, uh, the elbows already. So the roots are nice and plump, which is why they look really good right now. Because um, they had a lot of water to drink. And almost done here i just hate seeing like these little holes all right i can't remember which way it's supposed to be but <laughs> here she is all potted up next is this one I think I need to go find uh, a vase for this. Yeah, this one needs a cute little vase. I should be more prepared. I'm sorry, you guys. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, couldn't find a vase, but found a little orchid cup container planter situation. Stratum is already in here, and I'm just potting this up. Now, because this is clearly no drainage, what I'll probably do is um, put like a little saucer on the bottom or just put it in a little container to catch all the, uh, the water when I go to water this guy. But I am really hoping that it roots very quickly so that I can get it out of here and into something else. But yeah, I'm just curious how your plants are doing. Are your plants kind of like, you know, taking off as well? Or do you currently have any struggling plants? Um, or how are your plants doing? <laughs> Just curious. All right, now this is done and all potted up. I hope it continues to thrive for me. I'll be really sad if it doesn't. All right, so up next is this wet stick. Now this is, this is a very unique wet stick. Um, Earlier I had showed you guys when this was all covered in dirt, but as you can see, the aerial root is growing up and the secondary roots are just growing down. And the node is right over here. Now, I am very um, inclined to plant it this way. I really am. But this was the bottom before, right? So, what I'm gonna do is actually kind of, I, I really, truly, I wanna plant it like this. I just wanna stick it into the dirt like this, but I don't know which way it's gonna grow. I don't know which way it's gonna grow. Um, 
So I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it and stick it in the ground like this and I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that it kind of grows like a gloriosum and it'll just grow towards the light. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. Because otherwise it's just it's it's silly. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. So in it goes like this, and I feel like in the next couple of weeks it'll it'll do something for me <laughs> and if not like i said you'll hear about it all right almost done here and you know what i feel like there should be a disclaimer for all new plant parents and that is <sighs> if your collection or if you're thinking of growing your collection to like 20 plus and it's growing season prepare yourself because everything is going to grow and it is your responsibility to spend your weekends to repot and care for your plants <sighs> at least that's how i'm feeling right now <laughs> all right so this is as good as it's going to get and i made sure to kind of have like the node exposed so it's not buried um yeah i'm just gonna yeah, I don't know if there's like a rule that says that you shouldn't bury your node, but I am not accustomed to burying my node. So that's that's the reason why it's the way it is. All right. And I guess while I'm here, let's work on this wet stick as well. Where is... Oh, this isn't the wet stick. This is the stick that I had cut off from the other plant. Um, I guess the last plant is this one that is starting to to grow for me right there uh, right there so let's just add some stratum put this on top and for this, I think I'm forced to kind of, you can't see, plant it like this because because the node is already starting to push and grow for me. So it's going to have to be planted just like that. And you know what? If this plant just does its thing, I think I'm going to give this plant to my mom. That'll be a nice gift. All right, so here she is all potted up, and um, I'm not going to lie, I kind of nicked the tip of the uh, that growing point when I was squishing everything down, so it may or may not survive, but um, <laughs> I'll let you guys know. Um, worst case scenario, I will give this plant to my mother, because um, the, just the marbling on this is so pretty, I can't get over it. And the leaf is substantial, like it's pretty big too. It's not like a little dinky leaf. So, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I guess my next video would be me trying to save that ethereum, that queen ethereum. Um, unless she's already croaked on me. <laughs> in which case, it'll be like a different video. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!